Every day we see headlines like robots serving in restaurants or robots in hospitals or titles like a robotic nurse or a robotic servant in the house. Such stories drive us crazy because female humanoid robots are the most recent advancement in AI. According to a new study, female robots or fembots are preferred in the service industry. The findings suggest that the trick could be used in a variety of industries, including hotels and restaurants, where human staff may be replaced by service robots. The study, which included 170 volunteers, was led by experts from Washington State University. Each participant was questioned about their experiences and reactions when presented with hypothetical scenarios involving robot interaction in a hotel. In this video, we are going to see how female humanoid robots started dominating the industries. I won. This is a good beginning of my plan to dominate the human race. <laughs> Before sharing the golden nuggets for everyone who is new to the channel, hello and welcome to Robots Future, where we fill you in on every thrilling discovery and mind-blowing insights into the world of robots, AIs, and future technology. So consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification for a ton of exciting robot content coming your way. Experts discovered that female robots are more effective at providing comfort to the alleged customers. Female robots with human-like features are more likely to elicit a positive reaction. According to the findings, robotic features will be a critical factor in the future of service jobs. Anthropology and personality were discovered to have an actual impact on people, particularly those with female faces. According to Carson College of Business School of Hospitality Business Management, expert Subin Seo, who authored the study, people expect more comfort from female assistants due to the classic gender stereotyping that is prevalent in the management and service industry. According to Seo, Gender stereotypes were passed down to the collective view of robot interactions. If the machines have features that closely resemble humans, the popular reaction will be amplified. Due to a lack of human staff during the COVID-19 pandemic, many businesses in the service industry switched to using robots. During the surge of employee vacancies, most of these establishments patched services by bringing on robotic greeters and waiters. According to Daily Mail, the shift in staffing was not triggered solely by the current global health situation, as a lack of service personnel had plagued the industry since the pre-pandemic years. According to CEO, most hotels have turned to robots for major functions, such as room cleaning and dishwashing. Ongoing developments may soon lead to the perfecting of complex customer service by robots. The Las Vegas Mandarin Oriental Hotel and China's Fly Zoo Hotel chain are two well-known companies that have made headlines due to their new robotic services. A Chinese buffet in the United Kingdom uses Bellabots to interact directly with customers. The study on autonomous robotic service included questions that participants were required to answer. Four scenarios involving interacting with AI-powered service machines were presented to the volunteers. The first scenario involved interacting with Alex, a male human-like robot. The second scenario was worded similarly to the first, except it involved a female, human-like robot named Sarah. The final two scenarios were gendered and named differently, but they were described as machine-like with an interactive screen. Participants who were shown a female robot gave higher satisfaction and positive ratings. A male machine with no features scored the lowest, while a female human-like robot scored the highest. According to CEO, the majority of participants are opposed to robots providing completely automated services. For more concrete information, more research on gender-based hospitality and customer perception will be conducted. Companies have launched artificial intelligence products such as intelligent chatbots and robots with female names, voices, and bodies on multiple occasions. Previous research suggests that people prefer female bots over male bots, primarily because female bots are perceived as warmer and more likely to experience emotions. One reason for the apparent feminization can be traced back to attempts to imbue artificial intelligence with more human characteristics. Indeed, humanization and feminization are inextricably linked owing to the widespread belief that women are more human and warmer than men. This perception serves as the foundation for instilling feminine characteristics in artificial intelligence. It is especially useful in fields such as medicine, where the assistant's tenderness and sensitivity is an added benefit. It can, however, lead to the apparent dehumanization and objectification of women while doing the opposite for machines. Female bots appear to be more talked about in terms of being human than machines. Female bots are preferred over male bots in the service context, owing to their perceived humanity. Female bots are endowed with positive human qualities, whereas male bots are endowed with the opposite. 
This attribution of apparent warmth and values in women to machines frequently sparks discussions about the objectification and dehumanization of women. However, from a different perspective, it can be stated that rather than dehumanization, women are attributed with superhuman qualities that are adapted to robots. However, this rendering can have negative consequences. Eliza was the name given to the first chatbot, despite the fact that it is a silent software program with no voice or physical form. Microsoft developed Tay, a chatbot with the tweeting style of a 16-year-old teenage girl who learned to tweet from millions of online Twitter users in 2016. Microsoft Xiaois, who has over 100 million WeChat users, is also a female avatar. The most well-known humanoid celebrities are perhaps Sophia by Hanson Robotics and Erica by Hiroshi Ishiguro. Sophia appeared on 60 Minutes with Charlie Rose, The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, major newspapers, and had an on-screen date with Will Smith. Saudi Arabia granted her citizenship. Professor Ishiguro, the novel's creator, famously stated that he was attempting to create the most beautiful woman in Erica. Erica comes in a variety of personalities, ranging from demurely conservative to sassy and stylish. When Japanese men went on a date with Erica, they blushed while flirting with her, despite the fact that she was a machine. Sophia and Erica have one thing in common. They are both good conversationalists. Are virtual assistants and conversation partners female because it is socially accepted that women perform better in these roles? Meanwhile, physical robots like Hermes, the MIT Rescue Robot, and Atlas, the Boston Dynamics parkour robot, have a distinctly male shape and form. Is it because they are stronger and have a more masculine appearance? Is it because of social beliefs about the gender of human search and rescuers that search and rescue robots are built in the male form? Do gender roles in artificial intelligence and robotics simply reflect those in the physical world? The image of the boy genius who works in a garage and changed the world has been a key indicator of gender roles in technology over the last 30 years, particularly in computing and AI. The kings of the digital and AI eras are men, from Bill Gates to Steve Jobs, Jeff Bezos to Jack Ma of Alibaba, and Pony Ma of Tencent. But who are the decision makers? These companies' growth was fueled by venture capital investment. To succeed, all tech entrepreneurs require venture capitalists' investment, and all of the founders mentioned above received investment from these kingmakers at a critical stage of growth. Despite the fact that female-led businesses generate 200% returns on investment, only 1-2% to of startups that receive VC funding are led by female founders. This is the industry's most gender-biased segment. The reasons for this are multifaceted. VCs are overwhelmingly male, and investors prefer people who look like them. Furthermore, studies have shown that men are promoted for their potential, whereas women are promoted for their accomplishments. VC investment is all about betting on the founder's potential. As more male-led companies are funded, more success stories emerge, and more venture capitalists choose to fund male-led companies. Gender roles are reinforced, and women's representation continues to decline. Psychologists at one of the two leading speech technology companies in the U.S. discovered in the 1990s that customers prefer the voice of a woman when attempting to reach a call center operator. Since then, virtual assistants have been designed to have a submissive personality with a calm, polite, and occasionally eager and cheerful female voice. In 2017, Google, Microsoft, Facebook, and Amazon, among other American AI companies, launched the Partnership on AI to Benefit People and Society. Since then, the partnership has grown to include 80 partners from 13 countries, including China's Baidu. Nonprofit organizations make up more than half of the partners. This is one of the largest groups, with a sizable representation from AI engineers collaborating with non-experts to develop best practices and guidelines in various areas of AI. Siri, for example, allows users to select the gender of its voice. To achieve a gender-equal world of AI, the AI research community must work diligently to recruit and promote more female talent. We must find technical solutions for fair and accountable AI. Investors must support more female founders. And we must create more images of AI and robots free of gender stereotypes in the media. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. But before that, we'd like to know your opinion about this. Do you think female humanoids can be good work companions? Let us know your thoughts in the comments and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. If you like this video, please 
share it with your family and friends. And we'll see you in the next video.